Hello everyone, this is the CRT Productions and this is the IBM ThinkPad R51e that I've featured in many videos at this point, you're probably familiar with it if you watch the channel regularly. Um, yesterday I tested out which internet browsers are the best to use on Windows XP in 2022 using this laptop. And on this channel I usually try to test things based on real physical hardware rather than just sandbox scenarios like virtual uh, virtual box, virtual machines, whatever. I like to test things on physical hardware. Um, so that's what I did with this laptop yesterday. I installed some of the uh, browsers that still support Windows XP as well as the last versions of Google Chrome and Firefox that supported XP and uh, I tested out using my um, brilliant testing methodology visiting 10 popular websites um, I give them a rating basically out of 10 um, on how they perform nowadays and um, any rating below 10 out of 10 is pretty much not very good. So um, I tested out Google Chrome, uh, Firefox, MyPal, and Kmeleon. Um, so that's the uh, four most well-known popular browsers for XP. Um, there is one big thing that you need to keep in mind when uh, watching this video is that I'm not testing out any Chinese browsers. I'm not going to be installing any of those on this system because I actually use this system as my XP testing platform, I guess you could say. And uh, I don't want that darn Chinese spyware on the computer. Alright, but uh, seriously, I'm not going to install from those Chinese browsers. There's too much, too much sketchiness involved with that. Um, those are fine for like virtual machines if you want to play around with them, but I don't recommend them for physical hardware, so just keep that in mind when I make these videos about Windows XP and whatever it is I may be making video about. I'm mostly focusing on using it on physical hardware, so yeah, I wouldn't recommend um, installing those browsers on physical hardware. So basically the 10 websites that I test are Google.com. Obviously Google.com works in every browser, um, more recent than Internet Explorer 5, I guess. Um, YouTube, YouTube honestly, a little bit more demanding, uh, video playback and lots of other HTML5 elements that have to be loaded. Um, so YouTube um, tends to be pretty demanding on the physical hardware side of things, so um, that's something to look out for as well. I don't deduct points based on just it being really laggy or, you know, slow, basically, but um, it does reach a point, I believe it was Firefox, it was totally unusable. Um, I considered deducting a point just because um, other browsers, it's not nearly as bad. Um, for example, MyPal, spoiler alert, um, MyPal works fine, basically. You can watch videos in full um, FPS, full 30 FPS, but on Firefox it's like 2 FPS and you can't even, I couldn't even get out, out of the tab to close the tab, I had to just kill the whole window. Um, kill the whole process basically um, to get out of YouTube when I was testing it on Firefox. So it's just good, something to keep in mind if you're interested in the physical hardware side of things. Um, Facebook and Twitter, I test those. Facebook tends to pretty much support every browser. I just kind of stopped even bothering with it. At some point, if it loads the login screen, it's probably going to work. Um, if you go back and watch my trying Internet Explorer in um, 2021, I actually got Facebook to work on Internet Explorer 6. So I was able to log in and look at my feed. Uh, Facebook's another website I don't use very much, but uh, there you go. Again, uh, things that are on there are not things I particularly want to see. Um, I see a guy has a profile picture of the Prodigent mascot, which is appropriate. Um, right here, the page kind of locked up and was scrolling on its own. Um, so we get to slowly see these posts, uh, which I'm sure will draw some interesting comments on this video, but um, it was the mobile site, and it was a little bit glitched out, but it worked, and it loaded, and didn't just say, sorry, your browser's not supported, so I thought that was pretty cool. Um, Twitter, it can be, um, well, you'll see, it can be kind of problematic, um, pretty laggy at times. But I believe it worked in every browser. Yeah, I think it worked in every browser that I tested. Um, Apple.com actually gave some trouble this time. Normally Apple.com 
I go to it just because it has lots of pictures, but it's a fairly simple website. Um, but I actually got one browser to give me trouble with Apple.com. I think that was the first time that's happened. Um, CNN and Fox News, of course, those are websites. News websites with lots and lots of pictures to load. So that's uh, more or less a test of the physical hardware, how each browser um, handles it um, on this old low-end hardware. Um, some of them, you know, get so laggy that you can't use the computer anymore. You can't even scroll down the page. Some of them work a little bit better than that. <clears throat> Office.com, of course, very, um, very complex. Lots of HTML5 elements going on there. Um, it's an entire Office suite, Microsoft Office, in your browser. So it's a pretty complicated site to load. So, uh, yeah, Amazon. Amazon, lots of pictures, basically shopping is my shopping, uh, along with Apple.com, I guess, and my shopping test, as well as HTML5test.com, just to give kind of a synthetic uh, benchmark number that you can look at. And um, that number might surprise you, because uh, the best browser that I tested, uh, according to my um, testing methodology, the only browser that got a 10 out of 10, had the second lowest um, benchmark score on HTML5. So the first browser that I tested was Google Chrome. It's Chrome 49. Um, the exact release number is irrelevant. It's Chrome 49, whatever the last version was. Um, it's easy to find, very well known browser. It was released in April of 2016. Um, so it's the oldest out of the four. I tested um, and it ended up getting a rating of 8.5 out of 10 on my um, scale. All right, here we go. I've just logged in um, to Facebook. And there it is. Facebook works. Um, got some interesting advertisements. I've got a new message, um, which is interesting. I don't, I don't, I don't use Facebook, uh, but. Yeah, I use Facebook Marketplace, but not Facebook regular. So out of the websites that I tested on Chrome, um, it got half a point on Fox News. For some reason, Fox News, it didn't load any images on the page. So um, it loaded the text, but no images. So I had to give it a half a point on that, um, as well as Office.com. I test out Office 365. It's Microsoft Office in your browser, basically. Um, and yes, yeah, the one that tends to give the most trouble. Um, and it was very strange. I'll just let you see my live reaction to that. All right, well, it looks like I was wrong. Um, Office does not work, at least Word doesn't. And I would assume all the other programs probably work similarly to Word. Um, you can't see what you're typing, basically. Um, you can see right here, I've typed two words. Um, I was typing stuff and randomly, and um, but yeah, you can't see what you're typing. It doesn't show the document itself on the screen. It shows all the tools, but not the document. So I guess you technically <laughs> could use this. Um, I assume I can probably save it, um, but yeah, that's that's a basically useless um, score right there. That is a, that's the first out of the websites we've been to on Chrome to be completely unusable, I would say. Technically you could, as I said, but nah, I don't think so. So moving right along to Firefox. Uh, Firefox got a 9 out of 10. Uh, unfortunately, Office.com didn't work in Firefox. It's the only website that gave any kind of trouble. Again, Firefox was extremely... Um, demanding on the physical hardware. So this is one that you'll probably want to avoid if you're using an old ThinkPad like this one or uh, any old computer with Windows XP. You probably, want, you probably want to stay away from Firefox because it's very demanding on physical hardware. It um, uses a lot of system resources um, compared to the other browsers. So um, even though Chrome got a lower score, I'd say it's more usable than uh, Firefox here because Firefox just is so slow on most websites, YouTube, even Twitter. I couldn't even scroll on Twitter because it was just so 
demanding, um, so slow, um, and office.com didn't work. So if you want to use office.com, um, definitely don't use Firefox because it just gave an error. There was no way to close the error or get past it. It was just uh, Microsoft's like, nope, browser's unsupported. So that was basically Firefox. It, it works, but um, yeah, not great. And then I tested MyPal. So MyPal is the currently supported uh, web browser for Windows XP. It's the one that everybody always tells me about in the comments, even though I've been using it for like two years. Um, it's uh, It hasn't been updated since July 2021, though, so that's kind of interesting. Um, I saw the latest version um, from the website, and uh, as of the making of this video, of course, might be a new version when you're watching this in 2027 or whatever, but um, I installed the latest version and it got a 10 out of 10. Yay, a 10 out of 10 score on my rating system, but it also got the second lowest um, HTML5 test score, which is kind of interesting, but um, it worked fine. It was also the lightest weight browser, so uh, it's definitely recommended by me if you're trying to use physical hardware, like this old ThinkPad here. Twitter, again, I mentioned before, it was totally unusable on Firefox. It was so slow, um, but it worked fine in MyPal. As well as YouTube, I was able to get true 30 FPS playback of videos on um, YouTube. Um, Office.com worked flawlessly. Alright, so this is pretty funny. Um, it's pulled up the uh, document. I right, saved it, auto saved the document that I typed in Chrome 49 just a few minutes ago without being able to see what I was typing. So, um, yeah. It's, it works fine though, as you can see. I mean, I, I guess I can add to this document here with one hand. Hello. One. There you go. So yeah, it works fine. Um, it's a little bit slow, but it does work. Yeah, my pal, two thumbs up. Um, not only did it get a 10 out of 10 on the websites, but also worked great with the physical hardware. So the last browser that I tested was Chameleon. This is a another supposedly uh, currently supported web browser for Windows XP. Um, the latest version I think is like 74 or 76, something like that. Um, I downloaded the latest version, um, and maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just the uh, hardware that I installed it on. Um, I'm not sure, but the browser claims to be a Windows XP specific browser, so people that want a browser for Windows XP would probably likely find that in the search results. Um, strangely, um, again, I'm not sure if it's a specific version or not, I was not able to get it working on pretty much any website. Uh, Google.com worked, unsurprisingly, um, but I have the results here. Um, I, um, the only websites I was able to get it to work flawlessly on uh, were Google, Facebook, and Twitter. All the other websites either didn't work at all or gave some kind of trouble. Um, the biggest uh, issue that I saw with the browser was that it just crashed randomly. Um, it would just crash in the middle of browsing a website. It wouldn't do it immediately. A couple websites it did do it immediately. Office.com, I remember it did it just immediately. You type in office.com, enter. It would, it would just show that pop-up and it's like, um, do you want to send feedback to Microsoft or whatever? That little, um, yeah, it encountered an error or whatever. So that pop-up and then it just closes. So, um, yeah, it was weird. Some websites, they would work fine for like 10 seconds. You would be scrolling through it or trying to use it. It was pretty slow when it was working. Um, but it just didn't, it, it would just crash after a while. Um, okay, it just closed. I don't really recommend Chameleon. It got the lowest HTML5 score um, on HTML5 test. So, yeah, I'm not really sure about that one. I would, again, I would recommend MyPal. That's basically the, the, um, the moral of the story right here. Um, MyPal is the best option for Windows XP. Um, especially if you're looking for one that works well on older physical hardware. So, 
thanks for watching and uh, stay safe out there. All right, we're in 144p, but it's playing now, unlike in Firefox. Um, <laughs> Unlike in Firefox, I um, had to click on the most distracting video, didn't I? Um, unlike in Firefox, it is playing the video smoothly, though. Um, it actually just bumped up the quality. So, yeah, that's probably a better... In fact, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to risk going full screen here. Let's see how long it takes to go full screen.